Clyde, it's so good to see you today, Sunday, June 28th, and we're on our way to the Jazz Festival in Gastown. Tell me more about your, your beautiful hair. I've noticed how long and how beautiful you've kept your hair. Tell me more about that. Yeah, my, it's kind of a tradition, superstition. Okay. It's, uh, like, you know, Buddhism, voodoo, uh, black magic. Yes. You get an item of somebody's personal like, hair to uh -huh. they can use that to witchcraft oh so would this be um, like an aboriginal belief that yes uh, okay it is. and I do believe on the ground that I do see what you call um, ghosts oh okay uh, entities. yes um, spirits. Yeah, I, I know you as a very spiritual person in the downtown east side, so I can see where you, you, you'd you want to keep your your hair the, the length that it is. And you were telling me a little bit more about your grandma. Yeah, she's the one that taught, like, instilled in me my respectful courtesy towards women. And I pull the door open, pull the chair, stand up when they get up to go, stand up when they get back. Oh, wow. And the ladies always come first. Oh, that's wonderful. They, they are the, the bearer of our children. Yes. And we are the creators. It takes two, and the woman conceives you, brings you into the world. Oh. And the hair is, my hair hasn't been cut for nine years now. Oh, wow. And she instilled in me that only a family member can cut it, and non family member is unable to, unless we're bonded in some yeah, way or? or an item together. Okay, yeah. And that would be the exception. Well, it's so interesting to hear about the spiritualness of your beautiful culture. Can you tell me more about where you're from? I'm from Hazel PBC. Okay. Uh, good time. From the nation, Good Time Nation, Ginnamax Band. Okay. It's 350 miles west of Prince George. Oh, wow. So it's 850 miles from Vancouver where we are now. Okay, and uh, in your in the town of Hazleton, um, what industry do you guys uh, work in? Presently, it used to be sawmill. Okay. It's a uh, silver college work which deals with all horse work. Okay. There is a mine up there that I believe it's a gold mine that still is operating. Oh wow. Apparently it's doing good for <laughs> still in operation. Good, good. And um, well, I'm, gl I'm glad to continue to learn more about you and to learn more about your beautiful culture. And, and, and uh, I've always wondered why there were so many, especially Aboriginal men, that do have such long, beautiful hair. And now I know that it is a, it's a sacred, spiritual element of your, your culture and your being, so. When a fa any family member dies, we trim it or someone really close and we, we do get it cut, uh -huh. which is called a haircut. Uh -huh. And in doing so, so much finances is put into the kitty. Oh, uh, okay. The potlatch. Oh, uh, yes. Great. Well, thank you very much. We're going to be on our way to the Jazz Festival now to get some music into our souls, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Thanks, Clyde. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you, April. That was.